Hey, hey, hey. It's me. It's me. I have a really cool haul for y'all today. While I'm waiting for people to come in, I'm going to look and see if I can find a name in this. Do not see a name in this. It is magnificent. Is that a name? I can't tell. I don't think so. No. Hey, hey. Hey, Kristen. How are you? So, I went thrifting yesterday and I went thrifting today. Uh, yeah. So, I've got some stuff. <laughs> I've got some stuff. Anyway. I probably am not going to show every piece of jewelry that I got. Because if I do, we would be here till Jesus comes. <laughs> anyway. But I'm going to start out with something that's not jewelry. So, I went to this little flea market today. Because somebody had told me they saw a jewelry jar there. And they had this ornament. I bought it. It was $1.50. And what's cool about this ornament is this is just an ornament. Um, I see ornaments like this at Dollar Tree all the time. It's just a glittery ornament. What? But what somebody did was they took the time to put beads on it and glue them on. And they used sparkly beads. Isn't that pretty? And then with the glitter, it just is like over the top sparkly. So, I bought it so I could keep it as an example <laughs> and maybe try it next year. They also put some sequins in there. There are some sequins glued in that are adding the sparkle, too. So, I thought that was really cool. <coughs> so, this came in the mail. This is something that I had bought uh, on eBay. It is another Lee Stands, I suspect, piece. It doesn't have a signature on it like the other one did. And it has, let's see if I can get it to show, if I can see it. Let's see. It's right here. Right there, one of the little pieces has a little crack and had been repaired. Anyway, might find a pattern on my Cricut for those. I might. So, that's gorgeous. So, y'all be seeing this real soon. And look at this. Look at this bracelet. Isn't that gorgeous? Dragon AB. She had $10 on it. And she let me have it for seven. It's not signed, but who cares? No missing stones. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then she had ten, no, seven on these, and she gave me them for five. And they have a signature on one of the earrings, I thought. Not it. Nope. Wait. Oh, sure, I saw a signature on one of those. Nope. Nope. Guess I'm just losing my mind. So, anyway, these are plastics. And they have a glow to them. Kind of a, like a moon glow kind of style. Real pretty. It's an earring and clip-on earring and necklace set. And then, oh no, these are the ones that had the name on them. <laughs> as soon as I picked them up, I knew that these were the ones. They just say Japan on them. I should have I should have known. So we have this beautiful set. You've got the ear bobs. Say Japan. And then we've got the necklace. 
and I was going to see does the necklace say anything but Japan probably just says Japan yeah Japan and we have the beautiful necklace and this too had uh, seven on it and she gave it to me for five so very nice I don't often buy jewelry like that and buy the piece, but I'm starting to do it more. I believe this is going to say Coro, but we'll see what it says. I know it's signed. Coro. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And it was five. Oh. Nope. It's got a hair on it. Maybe my hair. <laughs> There we go. So, oh, I was going to say that's all I got this morning, but actually I got one more thing. And I think these were marked 275. I can't remember. I have to look on my thing. They were cute. I've actually never seen a. Oh, they're even lever backs. Even better. Uh huh. Look at this. They're done like almost in a snowflake pattern. And they're green rhinestones. Deep, deep green rhinestones. Aren't those gorgeous? That coral may be a book piece. I'll have to look and see. I love these. I think they're beautiful. Anyway, so that was that was today's stuff. Okay, let's look at a little bit of crafting and I might show y'all some more of the jewelry I got yesterday. I got tons of jewelry yesterday. So, um, I went to my favorite, <laughs> I went to my favorite veterans place, veterans, it's called Veterans Town. And this is the only piece of jewelry I bought over there. And it's a, a necklace, a heavy necklace ring like that. And I don't know how much it was. I don't remember. Because it wasn't marked. I'd have to add everything up. I don't know that I can, to tell you the truth. Three skeins of embroidery thread, all a quarter a skein. And then they had these things that are um, to make um, these are just to add foam to add dimension. These are just to pop things up. These here are to do um, shaker cards. Shaker cards. So I bought four of them all in the circle pattern. And they were a quarter a piece. And then I got three sets of die cut. Um, these are from MFT Stamps. These here are from Sizzix. And these here are from Stampin' Up! and Sizzix. They're probably both from Stampin' Up! But the, these, both, these say Stampin' Up! and Sizzix. And this one is just frames and buttons and little taggy things. And this one is like party cakes and balloons and crowns and stuff like that. And all of those were a quarter a piece, which is excellent price for die cuts excellent 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 let's start looking at some fabric look at this wonderful piece of fabric right here it's got mushrooms and then it's got little bitty mushrooms oh my gosh it's so pretty and this is a big piece of fabric let's see this is one two probably two and a fourth yards and I paid two dollars for it. The mushroom fabric is, I know I'm going to do one, uh, I will be doing a, uh, a, a journal cover over it. More, yeah, more than likely vintage, yes. I don't have anything printed on the selvage at all. So very cool. It's real, a little bit thinner than I like, but it'll be okay. I'll put some uh, fluff behind it to make it be not see-through all the way to the inside of what I put on it. Now, I bought this whole bag of fabric 
four, five dollars, and then my mom got out three or four pieces. There are two pieces of this. This is adorable. Uh, this is also already designated for a journal cover. And there are two pieces of it. I love the owls. Absolutely love them. Uh, this is just a piece of cotton crinkle stuff. It actually would make a really nice size fabric clip. So may hold it onto it for that. Uh, this is a piece of heavy damask style. And it will probably be for a journal cover too. It would make a pretty journal cover. It's got a fuzzy on it. So... This here is probably just going to go in my fabric drawer um, for whatever I want to use it for. I don't foresee doing a cover out of it. I don't, I'm not real fond of doing, I did the, this, where you, you have lines, but you can see there's a little bit of wobble to my lines and I'm not real fond of having to work with the lines because it's so hard to stay straight to keep the lines straight we have just a piece of black which can be used as a lining for something we have flannel let's see That's just a piece of plain flannel. These are cute. And these are flannel too. At this size, this is not big enough for a journal cover unless it's a real small journal. But I could piece it and do piece. And it's I Love Coffee. It's cute. Grind beans, pour over something 10 minutes here's another I love coffee here is some oh there's two pieces of this these would make cute little uh, things to go on um, tags just cut out and glue pieces on tags that would be real really pretty this is real thick like upholstery style fabric and so there's two pieces of of those neutral colored rainbows this right here this is flannel also and there are two pieces of it yeah two pieces of it and there's another piece of that black and that black is just a cotton blend. Huh. Somebody. You know what? Somebody did some little bitty hem stitching on that. Oh, you know what? I bet these were pillowcases and they cut them up. I bet that's what they were. Or, oh, But they are. They do feel like flannel. Anyway. There are these. There are two pieces of this elephant. Just a piece of cotton gray. There's the other elephant. There's the other owl. And two more small pieces of no, this one here. This is flannel, and this one here is just cotton. Which would be real good to back behind that uh, mushroom when to keep it. You love the elephant. <laughs> the elephant's cute. And then this is real pretty. Uh, it would make a real pretty cover. It's seashells. Would make a beautiful journal cover. It's flannel, but it's not 
thick flannel, like pajama flannel. It's a real lightweight flannel. It's real pretty. I like the blue seashells. Anyway, so that's all the fabric. <laughs> we'll put it all back in here. Actually, it's going to go in the fabric drawer for now because I'm not ready. I am getting ready close to getting ready to, to work on a, the owl cover, but I got to finish up some things. I've got to finish up some uh, all of that for five dollars yeah and at our veterans if you're a veteran you get a discount but we're not david wasn't in the service long enough to get veterans discounts at least that's what we've been told by different people different people say different things different people say he should different people say he shouldn't we've never took it to the people that really are the ones making the decision. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? There we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start. Let me start showing you yesterday's jewelry haul. I spent $74 on jewelry. Uh, there are some pieces in here that I bought online from... Uh, robin skywatch i bought this little multi strand colored copper and it is uh charm and charlie and i'm not pulling it out of the bag that's a gift she sent me and this one here is i will show you it it's real pretty it is signed casey pretty sure that's a kenneth co yeah that casey is a kenneth co so anyway, it's real pretty. So those were things that I bought from Robin. So I got to get all this stuff bagged up. Oh my gosh. So now, everything that I'm going to show you now. No, not everything because... Okay, there is $74 worth of jewelry from, nope, not $74 worth. Let me, let me do some quick math. Okay, there is $63 worth of jewelry from Savers and $14 worth from Miss Helen's, okay? So, this came from Miss Helen's. It's real pretty. Very, very pretty, in fact. This came from Miss Helen's. And it's copper tone with a dyed highlight piece. This came from Miss Helen's, and you know what? What did I do? Okay, those those are non-magnetic. I'm trying to see. See, they are a stone. I'm trying to see if there was any kind of marking on them. I don't see any markings. They're real pretty. I'm sure they probably weren't on original to that card, but they were a dollar. This came from uh, Savers. It's a JBK, Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy bracelet. And you can see what I paid for it there. This came from Miss Helen's, and it was $2. Was it $2? Two dollars, yeah. And I love it. Positively love it. It's really cool. Uh, this came from Miss Helen's. It's an anklet. It's an Avon piece. This is, hold on. Let me get this. 
These are from Savers. Beautiful, beautiful rhinestone earrings. Savers has gone down on their prices of their jewelry. This one here is a Jessica Simpson bracelet. And it too came from Savers. It too was the same price, $1.99. I love these. Absolutely love these. They're so adorable. Look at those. Little angels. Aren't they adorable? Look at this Monet piece. Back of my neck is hurting. Hi, Gina. How are you? This is Monet. Look at that. Six ninety nine. Another Monet piece. This one is also Monet. There. There's the class. I'm good. My neck hurts right now. I don't know why my neck is hurting. Back of my neck. Hold on. I do not want the back of my neck is hurting. Hold on. I'm not sitting back in my chair. That's killing me on the edge of my chair first there okay there we go now this one here is a sterling silver bracelet that says m e r e mother mer mer i don't know how you say that madre mother and m e r e it's three words for mother and it is 925 and did not look to see if it had a name brand on it. 925 FAS. This one here is really cool. And I need to, I've, I've got to do some work on it. It is whoever this butterfly, uh, bumblebee brand is. Whatever that bumblebee brand is. If anybody knows the bumblebee brand. But look, isn't that cool? And what has happened is the, um, here, this right here, the, this separated. And so I need to put that back in there and then squeeze it all back together. Anyway, I'll have to do that when when I can hold my head up and look. My head is wanting to just droop. Oh, I got that back. <laughs> that back sticker off of that, Jude. I showed this to Jude. Oh, uh, I don't know what that stone is. I'm thinking maybe picture Jasper. I don't know. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I got that from Miss Helen's. Uh, $4. This one here, I don't know this symbol. If you know this symbol, just help me out. Hey, Buttercup, how are you? Uh, see that symbol? I don't know that symbol. There's a little bit of wear on the, actually on the symbol has a little bit of wear, but I don't know that. But it's beautiful. It has these little porcelain hearts and things, dingle dangles. It's all pretty lovely circles hearts and then this big one looks like a piece of candy <laughs> uh this one is a bayer b-a-e-r s-f bayer s-f i'm gonna give this one a good cleaning wanted to see 
Okay, it is magnetic. Yeah, so I'm going to give it a good clean. This one is beautiful, and this is, let me look at it again. On one side, it says Chloe. On the other side, it says Isabel. Isabel Chloe. And if you look up her jewelry, it can go anywhere from $15 up to $100. It's very, got a very wide range on it. But let me get it where it's laying right. So it's, they're half, half balls, like half, half balls, and then you've got sparkly ones. Very heavy piece. Very, very heavy piece. It was $2.99 at Savers. Uh, this piece, this here is Sterling. Uh, it is uh, 925 India, and it has a AT mark on it. You've got earrings and a necklace, and you know what? And real pearls, real pearls. Christmas brooch. Oh, I loved this one. Normally, I won't pay $6 for a brooch, but look at him. Ain't he gorgeous? He don't have any kind of signature on him, and he's not vintage. I'll tell you that much. He's not vintage, but he's adorable. Um, <laughs> I will be testing the metal on these. This one is... Uh, it don't have any kind of, is this one, does it have a, oh wait, <laughs> never mind, hold on, yeah, I will test this because there's a 925 on the flopper on it, yeah, there's a 925 on the flopper on it, but I didn't even pull it out to look at the flopper, you know, the, the, on the, you know what I mean when I say the flopper, the little thing, that moves on a lobster claw, but I bought it thinking it might be something just from that. So, and I'm pretty sure this is jet. Can you see the back of that? I'm pretty sure that's jet. It's beautiful. And this is Avon. Avon. I got a lot of name brand pieces off of the wall. Oh, this is cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I may end up putting this just on my Poshmark. Uh, this is, I guess it is a piece of jewelry for your American girl, Dara, because it has an American girl hang tag and it has this little stirrup. And it has what looks like to be a name on it. Cecile. I think it says Cecile. Something like that. Hey, Lori. How are you? What's the weather like up your way? I love these. No name, nothing. It don't matter. Look at those AB crystal glass beads and then the black bicones and let's just kind of look at this jump ring to see if it has any printing on it do see any those are pretty the little gold beads are cute and they're magnetic and if y'all haven't figured out, I like chunky, linky necklaces. I, I don't wear them because I have a big neck, but I love them. So this is another chunky, linky necklace. And we have this right here that is not a real pearl, okay? It's not a real pearl. It is a spoon bracelet. 
and I did it again. Here. It is a spoon bracelet, and it has a little pink pearl that hangs down over a lock that sits there. It was $1.99. And then these. <laughs> these fluoresce very nicely, in fact. And the connection is not... The, the chain here is not magnetic. There is nothing on the... This. But that is real shiny. It looks like it's been replaced. But these are amber or copal or something. So pretty. They fluoresce very nicely. They turn a bright green a greeny color in there so pretty i don't think you'll see it but i'll sh try to show it to you but i don't think you're gonna see it no it's too daylight but they do turn a pretty color under the light mm, very pretty so i'm hoping that sterling silver there Anyway, so it has been a really, really good jewelry week so far. So now I have to sort all this, get what needs cleaned up, cleaned up. Uh, is that, I want to lay that to the side so I can test it. Uh, I test everything that I suspect is silver and everything that is marked silver gets tested. I need to work on that one. So there will be, and I need to clean that one real good. There will be lots of vintage in this week. Uh, I love these. Are they not adorable? I just think they're cute. So my mom, my mom goes with me when I go shopping like this. Anyway, she, she's always picking out stuff she likes. And here's what's funny. My mom doesn't wear, wear jewelry, but she thinks that the big statement necklaces that have all the different colored stones, she thinks they're real pretty. And she always wants to know, why don't you like those? <laughs> so I just don't like them anyway. And so then I pick up, I pick up this and I said, oh my gosh, I love it. And she's like, you're so weird. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. I know. <laughs> oh, goodness. Wait, I'm missing something. Hmm, where is it? I'm missing another sterling necklace. I wonder where it is. It's not in here. I wonder what I did with it. I had it yesterday because I remember showing it to Jude. Sorry, guys. Jude gets early previews. <laughs> when I come home, usually. But I've done something with a sterling chain. It's got little beads on it. Oh, I'm sure I'll find it around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> sterling. I don't like the little beads, but... I'll probably just clean it up good and sell it like it is. Let's put these in my back in my jewelry bag. This goes back in my crafty bag. So, oh, what is my favorite of the week? I love the amber piece. I love it. I love the dragon. Love it. Silver tone and AB. I love it. And as dark as five. It was real overcast this morning. It took a long time for the sun to come up this morning. So I need to. I want to here. I'm going to do this. I also love the Coro piece. Y'all know I love me some Coro. But I will tell y'all. I am doing better about letting my stuff go. Not putting it in the hidey ho And hoarding it is bad. I am doing better, okay? 
y'all should be happy about that so i have a lot of stuff to get sorted and then i have that another, another lease hands oh here that's what i'm looking for you love my shirt <laughs> i like this shirt but it's so long it makes my legs look this tall long <laughs> i'm already short and then it really does i wanted to see if oh, let's see I've been awake since 6.30. I am not just really not a morning person. But it seems like lately all I wake up between 6.30 and 7. So visual matches. Okay, poor Anacosti. Wow. It's not pulling up anything that says Coro Antique Victorian Citrine Pearl Garland. There it is. Nope, that's not it neither. Wait. Is it? Nope. It's not it. It's very similar to that. I know they're Coro. I mean, they're sign, but I'm just trying to see if they are a book piece. If I can find a listing that says they're a book piece. Anyway, very pretty. You always get up at six o'clock. <clears throat> Show the lease hands, please. I will. It's almost just like the one that you bought last week, only this one is Mother of Pearl, or that one is Abalone. This one is going to be, uh, it has, I don't know if you can see it, has a little bitty place where it cracked and somebody glued it back, and that's how it was sold. Uh, it was in the listing when I bought it. Anyway, this one is going to be 20 yeah, this one is going to be twenty. When we do when we do the sale, it'll be twenty. So, yeah. She's a gorgeous. He's a gorgeous. He actually on his listing he was called Leo Line. So I don't know if his that was the actual listing name or what. So anyhow, but yeah. So it is beautiful, isn't it? I am going to get to work on repairing this and testing all this silver. Yeah, you can purchase it. You bet. You can purchase it. Sure. If you want it for 20, it's yours. I'll, I'll save it and uh, invoice you next Monday. Is that okay? Just go ahead and put it down. Okay. Yeah. Is it okay to do it like that, to save it for next Monday? Okay. I will put it in a bag here. Just put it in this bag right here. And write your name on it and the price on it and put it in my one of my tubs, my tub here. And then we'll know it's yours. So, there we go. Hmm. Mm. Gina. There you go. Thank you, ma'am. Oh. Yeah, that's the tub it needs to go in. So, I am going to say bye so I can pop my neck good, but I got to get all this stuff done and taken care of. So, thank y'all for coming and seeing my preview and, well, not really preview, just seeing my haul and, uh, yeah. I'm happy as can be that y'all all came to see me today, so I'm going to uh, say bye, and I'm going to work on this jewelry for a little bit, and then I'm going to craft. I'm going to craft, so y'all have a good one, okay? I'll see y'all around this week somewhere, I'm sure. Bye-bye.